I, I wouldn't say it's an addiction. I think usually what happens is you're so stressed out, you're so afraid of that first, like what's it gonna feel like? Am I gonna like it? Um, I notice people who come in for their first time, they'll have me move a tattoo at least seven or eight times before we actually start tattooing. And then the next time they come in, they're like, I don't care, do whatever you want, put it wherever you want it. Because that initial like shock value of, oh my God, what is happening, what is happening? And you're just, you, you kind of, you, you just know what's gonna happen. So the next time they just don't care. And I think you just don't get that same adrenaline rush that you get the first time. So I think that's why people keep getting tattooed. And, you know, after your first one, you keep, you, you are going to get another tattoo. Women actually take it a lot better than the men do. Um, like uh, the other day I was doing a rib cage piece on a guy and he quit on me and then literally right after their appointment was a young lady and she fell asleep getting a tattoo done. So actually it, women do a little bit better than the men do just because well, they're made to take the pain. Pass out. Pass out. Stand up, I'm okay. And they drop face first into the tile. You pick them up. Ooh turn them over and kind of give them a little smell and salts, wake up. And then usually after that first initial like dizzy spell or passing out, literally they're good to sit. This one, this will be the most elaborate one. Not really, not really. Um, I would say, I, I wouldn't say it's elaborate, but portraits, I love doing portraits. They're very, very hard to do. You cannot mess up at all on a portrait because you will know because you know what that's supposed to look like. And so there's no like way for me to even kind of like change a little bit of something here or here, change a, a hair tone or eye color or anything. It has to be exact. So I would have to say portraits are probably the hardest thing to do just because it has to be so precise and most elaborate because you can't get it wrong. You keep going and hope they don't notice. No, um, no, it's you, usually when we make mistakes, it's literally nothing really that noticeable. And sometimes you can cover them up you really don't like, I can't remember the last time I actually really made a mistake and it's like, oh, I messed up. But when you start out, when you first start out, yeah, you make a lot of mistakes. That's why you tattoo your friends. So they can't really complain too much. Uh, just under eight hours. Um, it was a full leg sock. Um, it literally went from the bottom of the knee all the way down to the ankle. It was a uh, Day of the Dead uh, mermaid. So it was a full-on pinup girl and sea scene and everything like that. It was really cool. It was a lot of fun to do. Um, a uh, a flying penis on the side of a leg of a young lady, who is now is pregnant, and we'll have to explain that to their child. But yeah, that's probably the most strange one I've had.